Snow Labs Sublime Green PLA, another perfect layer going down on my D300. This is the very first D300 um, that I assembled to write the uh, assembly guide, and it's a little over two, two and a half years old. Um, the only things that have been replaced on it are the belts. I uh, did finally start to show some signs of wear um, around November of last year, so I replaced them with genuine gates. Um, and I just recently, last week, put on a set of uh, Hayden's uh, newest mag ball arms that um, have a little bit more holding force. They have a Delrin um, end, you can see it there, and uh, the magnets sit a little bit closer to the balls, and I also replaced the balls at the same time and sent me a new set to go with them. Um, so those have been on this printer now for a little over a week, and um, I've been putting it through its paces to see if I could get them to, to fall off. They haven't popped off yet, which is a great thing. Um, so I'm pretty pleased with uh, performance so far, but uh, like all things in 3D printing, time will tell. They've been doing great. Um, the only other change on this printer is I put polycarbonate wheels on the carriages, and those are, um, uh, they've been on since day one with this printer. I'm printing a, um, a case for a panel do 7 inch uh, for my um, E3D tool changer printer that's sitting here on the desk next to this one. Oh, this printer actually has uh, my pallet too hooked up to it also. Um, and here's the spool rack for that. Um, one of the nice things about the pallet system is it's completely reversible. So um, for this print, I'm just doing a single, single filament and um, simply removing the, the input tube there from the pallet too, from the top of the um, extruder um, and getting it out of the way, I can then just feed my filament in from my normal spool holder up there. And I have a back to a normal stock D300. So it takes five seconds to convert um, from uh, normal to pallet two and vice versa, which is also a pretty cool thing.